What's going on, dog? y'all smash that like button man oh 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 what up man we back again with another freaking video man big situation going on it's your boy tunchi man make sure y'all subscribe click that notification bell click all man make sure y'all join the family man right now y'all already know man the grind definitely don't stop we dropping every other freaking day man stop playing with your boy man so y'all already know the grind don't stop like i said i said it again i know but right now y'all we got to super lit video going on um my uncle told me this trick y'all and like i said i want to try this trick i've been talking to a few subscribers about this trick or whatever and it makes so much sense so i know a lot of guys already know what trick i'm about to do with my car or whatever um we about to it's actually i think it's snowing outside but we we finna <laughs> hop in the beam of the day you know what i'm saying um but right now y'all i did have a trinkle hooked up to it just to keep the battery reserved i don't think i i think i still got it on there yeah. but um what we gonna do y'all we're gonna basically trick the car into thinking it's still a battery in the car while swapping and putting a new battery in there if y'all get what i'm saying so we're gonna take the old battery out and we're gonna put the new battery in now i've been hearing a lot of guys say man you're gonna fry the ecm and uh this that, and the third look y'all it's people that friday brains every day smoking weed but you ain't gonna get that judgment from me on my channel you know what i'm saying so if you ain't had no dang on bmw how you know this you know what i'm saying not not this and nobody i'm just saying like we just gonna try it out you know what i'm saying i don't think it's gonna harm the car like i said i don't have a battery light on there's no battery light on it's just a discharge light basically saying the battery needs to be charged and me personally y'all i really think that battery uh it's just a cell probably getting bad or something like that the light hasn't been on but if i let the car sit it dies too fast and it's like you know even if i put the battery hook the battery up to my my dirt bike i mean it's like power loss on the on the battery but it's not as much as on the car you know what i'm saying and i don't drive a dirt i don't ride a dirt bike like that and that's a brand new battery in there so i just rather deal with a brand new battery and see what it does or whatever even if the trick don't work y'all we still go to my uncle's shop and reprogram the car but basically what he was telling me you hook up the uh jumper cables you know i'm gonna use my truck hook up the jumper cables to the front prongs in a, uh, under the hood on a BMW. Don't start the car, don't start no car. You can leave the door open just to make sure you got power and whatever. And, that, and then, when you're doing that, go to the back, change the battery out. Mind y'all, the car still has power. So basically what you're doing is tricking the car. Um, basically the car has power, but you, you basically swapping the batteries out. So you don't have to program it if you do it this way. Now, if the car loses power, you're gonna have to uh, reprogram it. Or I believe if you do have a battery light or something like that, I don't even think that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Because the sensors tell you if the battery is, is low or whatever. So there's nothing going on with the car. The car fires right up everything. Yeah, there's nothing going on with the alternator, none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's, I feel like it's time for that battery to be changed because I, I feel like deep down the line a couple months if i just keep letting it sit it's gonna eventually die in it you know what i'm saying like it's gonna get low 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 it's gonna keep getting low so i'd rather keep the trinkle charger hooked up to the freaking new battery you know what i'm saying i just rather do it that way because i think that battery was changed in like 2016 it's definitely about that time i was reading the codes and stuff like that but i appreciate everybody that's um listening to me talk or whatever and ain't skipping through the videos or whatever but make sure y'all smash that like button man if you a real one man um leave me comments if you can you know i know some people you know they driving or whatever just trying to watch the videos but we finna go out there man we we finna make something out of something today but uh i definitely bought me a new battery it's in the trunk right now i got tools all of that um we're gonna make sure that there's no battery discharge light on 
So that's gonna be perfect. So now I can really swap the battery out. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like y'all, that battery, it just, it ain't fully charging. You know, I just feel like it's not, it's not fully charging or whatever. So y'all stay tuned, man. All right, y'all. So, ooh, that thing's still clean. Big shout out to my boy, Ivo. But uh, let me show y'all. We got the trickle. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all something too. Y'all hear that? The top needs to be wet sand and buff. Somebody sprayed this top and then wet sand and buff it. That's why I smell compound. See how that's smooth? See how that's louder? It needs to be wet sand and buffed. But y'all know we spraying this soon, so we ain't even tripping on that. Yeah? We ain't tripping on that, but y'all see the little white spots? That's how I knew. It's compound, look. It's compound spots. That's what that is. Them little white dots, that's compound. They had overspray compound all on the motor. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some of it burnt off. I can still smell just a little bit. But I know the smell when I smell it. You know, because the last BMW had that smell. But y'all see it. We fully charged right now. This thing comes in handy, no cap. Y'all see we got the new uh, struts on there or whatever so the hood comes up freely. We're gonna take this off. It's actually spark proof. So if you cross jump this, this is a good one. If y'all wanna get one of these, you know what I'm saying? See when it's blinking, I mean it ain't got nothing charging. But you can cross jump them, it won't do nothing. It's very safe. Um, this is what it's called, a battery tender. I don't know why I keep saying trinkle. Where the hell I get, who the hell I get trinkle from? Battery tender. So it maintains the battery. This is perfect for the winter time. I'm gonna unplug him. So, I'm gonna put this over here. Let me show y'all. Put the hood down. We gonna put the hood down. Uh, ooh. Yes, we gonna turn the heated seats on. Outside temperature. Okay, the hood is open, we know that, so. We still got the hood open. Y'all see, y'all, this car is very sensitive. Let you know pretty much everything. That's why I love BMW. So it's best to get a lower miles one if you're gonna go an older model. Don't get nothing over 100,000 miles, y'all. Don't don't even touch it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people talk bad about BMWs, but if you maintain it right, you will be all right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people talk crazy about BMWs. That's because they can't afford them. That's pretty much what it is. You know what I'm saying? So let's check. Let's check, let's check some. Let's check some real quick. Ooh. We riding this today. <laughs> yes, sir. Vehicle status. Mm, I know we had to put some air in the last time I had it sitting with well, the first time I bought it. So, tire pressure light ain't on, ain't been on since, but it, it just be cold in here, y'all. So, you know, little stuff like that, man. It's freaking cold weather, man. Okay, we just got the hood open. That's it. So that's every. That's all we have on the system. Y'all can see it. There's no battery discharge light. So now, what I'm about to do, I'm about to trick the car. Oh, let me turn this mother camera around. Let y'all know something. What I'm about to do, y'all, I'm about to trick the car into thinking it's the same battery in the car. But this is a brand new battery, so it ain't, it ain't gonna... You know, it ain't got no bad cells or nothing like that. I feel like this battery back here now has a bad cell in it. So we just gonna swap it out. We ain't got no discharge light on there. So this is the perfect time to do that. So I wanna see if it's gonna actually work because um, if it don't work, I don't think it's gonna read or something like that. And I've been hearing a few comments saying a guy said I'm gonna fry the, the ECM and this, that, and the third. Like, I don't think you can do that if you still having power hooked up to the car. That's what we got the truck for. We're gonna keep power hooked up so as we keeping power hooked up, we gonna swap the other battery out. So this is the trick that my uncle taught me. He been doing this over 20 years, y'all. So 
Um, we gonna definitely pull up on them and see if it works. So, uh, if this don't work, your ass is fired, my boy. You are fired personally. But y'all stay tuned, man. We finna uh, go to the back and swap this battery out. All right, let me show y'all some. Let some sound. So this is the battery, y'all. But we finna take this mother in battery out because. I really feel like it's it's about that time, y'all. All right, y'all. So look, we got the battery disconnected, and we still got power. Y'all see? I took the post off. We still got power up in there. So we connected. So we're gonna take this battery off. I just want to make sure that we have power to the front. Y'all see the light still on? Okay. Let me show y'all. Put it back on there. See? Still got power. Still got power, so that's perfect. So we won't have any memory loss or whatever. So we're gonna hurry up and try to swap this battery out real quick. Y'all stay tuned. See, keep this thing connected to the battery source or whatever. So it's actually still connected to the front. If you disconnect this, this is for the whole car. So even the front prongs in the front freaking disconnect. So I done freaking unplug that, but we finally got it off, y'all. And we're gonna snatch this battery up from up under here. And uh, make sure y'all don't forget the uh, this little hose right here. This is very important. Do not snag this. So we gonna pull this out or whatever. Put some gloves on. But yeah, y'all, I uh, watched the video and the guy disconnected. I'm like, hold on, wait. Why the power disconnected? Like I ain't got no power in the front. So we got power in the front. It's just this thing disconnects the whole power source, the, the front prongs in the front. So that's all that's for just to uh, get a connection in the front. So, freaking things start blinking. So hopefully we still good, y'all. So, man, I'm like, come on, man. But the question is, can you do it? Yes, you can. Just don't disconnect the whole thing. These things are like, um, you just clamp these off. You just pull them like that, and then it comes off the battery or whatever. They actually clamp on the battery, but like I said, do not disconnect this right here. This is the whole power source. So we're gonna slide this battery and put the new one in, y'all. And y'all stay tuned, man. We're gonna see what it do. All right, y'all. We just started the car back up. We actually at the parts store. Okay, the light went back out. So the guy at here was saying, um, Y'all look, remember I was telling y'all about the little trick I did, right? You know, my uncle taught me. So, I told him the trick worked, you know what I'm saying? So, they actually remember me from going to get the battery, right? So, I guess I got lucky, y'all. I got lucky because, like I said, that little piece that I showed y'all, don't disconnect, just don't disconnect. It's like some clamps up under the battery that you just take off. I'm thinking that it was screwed down to the battery some, somehow, but don't disconnect that part because you will be disconnecting power from the front so um you don't have to reprogram the battery you don't that's a way that you can do it to the point you don't have to if you you messed up or something like that i got lucky y'all ain't gonna stunt. i got really really lucky because i hooked it back up real fast and the time did uh disconnect you know it's, it's you know when there's no power, it's, it's just killing everything. It's just starting to kill everything. The time did, I had to reset the time, but the Bluetooth was still hooked up. That's how I know I still had power. Like I still had time to connect the battery. Like y'all literally like, you like y'all, my Bluetooth just hooked literally back up. And I was like, damn, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna have to reset everything. So the only thing I had to reset was the time. The Bluetooth was still hooked up. Um, I ain't had to put in no code or nothing like that. And then uh, I called a BMW dealership, y'all, and they were saying, like, um, you'll know if you have to reset the light, if it's got, like, codes on the dash and stuff like that, like, faulty codes and stuff like that. I literally got no lights on the dash, so we got lucky, y'all. So um, that theory, theory actually worked, but like I said, you learn something new every day, and uh, you ain't fired, you all right in my book. Um, nothing going on with the radio even a guy up here he was saying the car start operating funny you'll know if you need to reprogram it you'll you'll definitely know definitely definitely know but what i did do y'all um i you know a lot of guys they don't want to deal with these cars um 
I called a shop and uh, I told the guy, you know, I say, you guys uh, reprogram batteries. They're like, yeah, yeah, we do it. Yeah, we do it. Okay, I got my own battery. Oh, no, nah, we don't do it. We don't, we don't put nobody else's parts in their cars. And I'm like, dude, like, what does it matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just put it on. If it don't work, okay, whatever. But, y'all, these freaking uh, mechanic shops got to the point to where they want to buy the parts and put the car, put the, uh, put the parts on so you can't even buy the parts and give it to them no more out here y'all these these guys done got so petty you know what i'm saying so it's crazy y'all so these shops rather get the parts and and, and 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 put them on rather you going to get it for cheaper probably in rock auto and stuff like that they rather not deal with it it's crazy y'all so this is what we we came to you know what i'm saying this is what we came to y'all and it's really messed up because this is why I be, I don't want to deal with no old cars, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this car, I, I got this car, y'all. This ain't really an old, old car, but I got it because the mile's low. So, I, we ain't going to be having too many problems with this car. Just like the other BMW, I really didn't have too many problems with that car, y'all. I don't want nobody touching my cars. I really don't. The way these mechanics is now, they poo shiesty and, and, and slimy, grimy. I'd rather, you know, I, no, I'm cool. I'd rather just keep the oil change and maybe change the battery, some light bulbs. That's it. I'd rather pay a car note. I ain't gonna even lie, y'all, because it's getting ugly out here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this car, we probably gonna keep for like two, three years. You know what I'm saying? If that, and we getting something new. You know what I'm saying? Like, we upgrade. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to deal with no more old cars. I really wanted an old school, y'all. But if, if I can't fix on that car, me and my uncle can't fix on it, y'all. I really don't want nobody to touch it. Like, unless I really trust that person. I ain't gonna even stunt. But, um, my other cousin that work at BMW actually told me, too, um, about the faulty codes on the dashboard. We ain't got no codes on the dashboard, y'all. So, I know a lot of guys, um, they cars, uh, when they changed the batteries, they cars didn't run. So, it's a bypass with that too. It's a it's a little um it's a little uh a little switch or whatever in the back of the trunk like the five series. You can uh disconnect the switch that's hooked up to the battery. It's a little little light, little baby blue switch. You could just unplug it because I seen a guy, his car didn't run. You know what I'm saying? That's his car didn't run because he actually killed everything. So remember I was telling y'all, if you kill everything basically you just have literally no power to the car you nine times out of ten gonna have to you know reprogram the battery or whatever you know what i'm saying but i just bought my scanner so hey man y'all in the area y'all need a little you know reset give me about shit 20 30 dollars i got you you know what i'm saying you ain't got to go to no shops none of that so i just bought one to make a couple of dollars you know what i'm saying i don't need it but it's good to have just in case um you know what I'm saying? We get another BMW. I have to change the battery or something. It's going to come in handy. I got a scanner myself, y'all. Uh, what we going to do, we going to dry the car. These scanners, they say they don't work, but I reset stuff anyway, you know, just to be on the safe side. But we actually got another scanner that's um coming or whatever, and it can reset the oil light. It can reset the freaking the chassis. It can reset the freaking... Uh, the battery light, um, if you got a battery light, a faulty battery, the fans, low cooling, all of that. So this scanner is going to come in handy and it's specifically for BMW and uh, I think uh, Rolls Royce or something like that. But it's going to come in handy for this car. So we're going to actually need that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, y'all, I've been seeing a lot of guys say, man, you're going to fry this, that, and the third, man. If you ain't never had no BMW you don't know this, people just lying to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying it, it could happen. It, it could happen, you know what I'm saying? But this is my theory, y'all. If you losing power to the car, mind y'all, this is, if a person just disconnecting the battery, right? Let me tell y'all, look, if you losing power to the car, like completely no power, you hook up a brand new battery, right? How is the car reading 
the old battery if you did you everything's being reset you don't have no power to the car so how is that reading the old battery the only thing that's going to happen is the car may not read that battery so you will have faulty codes and stuff like that on the dashboard the car might not start it might it, it's going to be acting weird doing weird stuff you know what i'm saying stuff ain't functioning right like the main stuff that you use you know what i'm saying but like i said even the guy set it up in there but we got lucky y'all so that trick actually works you know what I'm saying? So thank God. But um I know a lot of cats, y'all, they don't even they don't even they don't even reset nothing. You know what I'm saying? They just put the battery in and just just run with it, you know. So if you just trying to put a battery in your car, or whatever, um I recommend you going to a a dealership if you don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But some cars, I ain't gonna lie, some some BMWs, y'all, you don't have to program nothing like you'll know if the car don't start you know what time it is you know what I'm saying you put that battery in it you know um i never had any battery lights or anything on the dash so that's another thing y'all we never had any battery lights on the dash so i wanted to make sure i changed the battery before we did that um we ain't had no low charging codes or none of that so we gonna drive it because i did reset um the catalytic converter the uh the sensors everything i reset everything in the car y'all and with these cars you really can't if it's got a service engine light you really can't cheat and reset it and drive it it'll cut right back on you know what i'm saying so we definitely have to drive this car to uh get everything to reset or whatever but so far so good y'all that uh the trick actually does work um like i said the bluetooth was still hooked up to the car that's how i know the car still had power it's just when i disconnected i, I connected it real fast I, I messed up i ain't gonna lie but you got a certain amount of seconds until you can connect the battery or any uh post back to the car so the car keeps its power it's you know when you disconnect it it's, it's losing power you know what i'm saying so the only thing we lost was the time we didn't lose nothing else with the computer nothing like that the radio everything is fine you know what i'm saying so we good. Shit, we finna put some gas in this motherfucker and float this motherfucker on the e-way, boy. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But yes, it does work. Do it the way I told y'all to do it. It does work because the car still has power. You won't have to reset nothing. You know what I'm saying? But if you know some guys may get lucky and don't have to reset a battery light, you know, you might get lucky your car still start. But we got lucky here because like I said, we, we put it back on real fast. I, I messed up. I ain't gonna lie. And that was my fault. You know what I'm saying? I was watching the YouTube video and I'm thinking it screwed. It screwed down to the damn battery. So we we good. You know what I'm saying? We gonna drive this car and reset these monitors. We gonna drive for, for a couple of hours. Even if... The muck, look, y'all. We got we gonna do a whole nother video if this muck can break down, man. The muck, even if I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, which, you know, it's like, come on now. You know, I'm put, putting two and two together. You know what I'm saying? But even, say for instance, worst case, y'all. The car just start tweaking or whatever. Hey, we doing a whole nother video, man. That's more content for me. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, hey. But we gonna drive this to reset these monitors, y'all. We good. Unk said I'm good. Uh, I got a few cousins. I got cousins that work at the BMW dealership telling me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, even I had freaking uh uh mechanics you know what i'm saying so they rather just don't deal with it they got scanners and they don't want to deal with it that's cool bro that's why i say y'all i don't even i don't even want to mess with none of these fufu mechanics none of that man I, i'm cool like i'd rather stick with new cars newer model cars that way i ain't got to do nothing but change the oil and probably put a, a air filter in it uh you know what i'm saying put some gas in it that's it that's it that's all you know and mod it I'd rather pay a car note. We would have credit union now, so <laughs> I'd rather pay a car note. I ain't gonna even start. So we finna hop on the e-way. We finna put some gas in this thing and hop on the mother e-way. You know what I'm saying? But everything's working. You know, everything working, y'all. Like I said, I ain't, hey, the car is very sensitive. Very sensitive. So yeah, we finna drive the car, y'all. Um, so. We finna end this video, man. So I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like I said, the trick does work um, because basically what you doing, what you doing is keeping memory to the car. 
I know I heard a lot of people saying get a memory saver or something like that. That works as well. So in order, if you don't have a memory saver, do it the way I did it. Just disconnect the, the ground first. You know what I'm saying? Just just slightly disconnected just to make sure you got you still got power in the front. Once you know you still got power in the front, like like I showed y'all, all right, cool. You can dis disconnect the battery now, but make sure you disconnect the ground first, then you disconnect the uh the power. That other little screw that I was trying to disconnect, don't even disconnect that, you know. It's just two screws on the battery. That's it. And then you you uh unfold them little clamps on the side of the battery and just pull it off. You you should still have power. That little screw is basically cutting off the main source in the front. You don't want that because that's where your power is coming at from the, the jumper cables from the other car. You know what I'm saying? So you, you keep the memory in the car. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, so it does work, y'all. So y'all see it. Look, we ain't got, we ain't got no lights. We ain't none of that, you know? Um, it ain't saying no low voltage. Nothing. I done had the car running for a little minute. You know, we're going to drive it. Everything, y'all. So, all right, y'all, man. Checking out with another video. Peace.